my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Lynch and McGuanagal, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commit Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Believe it or not, I lost a bet to ooh, to the Shotgun Schaefer and he's going to be taking over the show this week. And guess what? He's going to be in Rice Lake with the high school championship up there. And I think there's 73 teams fishing this championship. So I'm going to be in the kitchen cooking with my good friend Jeff Jasinski. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens this week on Larry Smith Outdoors. Are you looking to catch the walleye of a lifetime? Then have Larry and company guide you to your trophy on the Bay of Green Bay and its surrounding tributaries. Whether it be the Peshtigo, the Menominee, the Oconto, or the Bay itself, our team has the knowledge and experience to hook you up with the fish of a lifetime on this world-class fishery. Book your trip for giant Green Bay walleyes today. Call Larry Smith Outdoors at 920-361-4996 for more information. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, warrior boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass, too, and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish-attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts, because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Good morning, Steve Schaefer, Shotgun Chef here. Larry's on the lake guiding. I have the state ice fishing tournament, high school tournament this weekend we are covering. We have 46 schools. 40, 42 schools. 42 schools and 70 teams. The kids are coming in right now for breakfast. It's 5 a.m. It's gonna rock today. Let's talk to Wendy. She's the president. See what we got going on today, Wendy. Yeah, I'm Wendy Dahlman. I'm the president of WIFA, the Wisconsin Interscholastic Fishing Association. Uh, today we're here on the Red Cedar Chain. Yep. And uh, we have a lot of kids out here getting ready to, to gear up to get out on the ice for the uh, state championship. They can fish on red cedar, uh, hemlock, or balsam. And so huh? you're going to be, you know, traveling around. How's it going now, Wendy? It's uh, they catch the fish, they weigh it, they have a little card right that has their school on it. They take a picture. Yep. There's two different categories that they're kind of searching for. They're searching for game fish today as well as pan fish. Game fish is a paper tournament. Okay. Uh, they can catch five, uh, they take their five best northerns, five best bass, and one walleye. Uh, that's total length. Uh, so once they catch a fish, they'll get it out of the water, obviously, put it on a bump board. They have to photo it uh, so we can verify uh, at the end of the and day if board, we need to. That bump board's registered, I heard, because I brought mine up and it's not good because it wasn't here registered and they haven't you yeah. registered them. Okay. Um, they can catch 15, they're going to register 15 panfish today. Okay. Five perch, five bluegill, and five crappie. 
and that will go by weight. Okay. And uh, so they'll bring them in in a bucket. They get it. Uh, they get weighed, and then they mul get multiplied by twelve. Okay. So that gives them their panfish total. That get a gets added to their game fish total for their total score for the day. Well, let's go out and have fun today. We're gonna have breakfast. There's tons of kids that are turning around, watch these kids. They're eating already. They're ready to go. So appreciate yep. it. We'll check up with you. We're gonna go jump in Lake to Lake, see what everybody's catching, and we'll be back with you this afternoon and see what's going on. Awesome. That sounds great. Thanks for coming in, Wendy. Thanks for talking to us. We're gonna have a great time, right? Sounds good. Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> We're about to edit this one. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes, three minutes, all right. Three minutes, there he is, go. I heard just heard it. Let's go. Here's the cannon. Start fishing, guys. Let's go. Game's on, Larry. Larry, game's on. State. Fish, ice fishing tournament. They're running. It's one minute after seven. Baits in the water. We're looking at hundreds of people on the ice right now, ready setting tip ups up. This is awesome. I wish I was in high school. Great. So I've, I've never been in a tournament before, and this is my first one. I had an opportunity through school, and I was just like, might as well take it. And I've been up here. And it's all organized so far. We had uh, supper last night. We had a pizza. Pizza, a pizza and, social. Yeah, yeah. It was nice. And uh, everything was organized real well. Like most people, I think it was fair enough to spread out prizes for everyone. And then now we're all out here getting ready. And we heard the cannon go off. We just got lines in. And it's a blast so far. And I haven't even caught a fish yet. <laughs> You're the first person to see catch a fish. <laughs> you catch it yourself? Yeah. What's your name? Dana. Dana, what school are you from? I'm from Barron. Barron? Yeah. Nice. Fishing before? Yeah. Yeah? You're good at it? Playing, who else is this? Anthony Will. Anthony Will from what school again? St. Croix Falls. St. Croix Falls. They're already on the board with bath. Larry, pink rods. The girls are out here catching fish. You live, what you say, 10 minutes away? Yep. So you should have the inn on this lake? Should. Should? <laughs> <laughs> We got two permanent shaggies. This team's been out here living in these shacks for what, two nights in a row? Just one. Just one, one night? Yeah. We got Coach Steve here from what school? Amory, Wisconsin. Amory, Wisconsin, yeah. guys. All right, rumor has it that you're the master fisherman down here. Well, we're getting a few. Oh, what's going on? What do you got going on here? Well, just catching some suspended crappies. Yeah? Yeah. I heard you got some nice suspended crappies. Yeah, I got some nice ones right here. What's your name? Uh, Riley. Riley, shotgun chef from Larry Smith yeah. Outdoors. Let's see what you got in here. Oh, 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 that is some nice fish. Look at that one. We were just on Kettle Marik a couple weeks ago for a tournament. These guys gave me a bunch of crappies. I see the amount of fish crappies, huh? They taste good. I know they do. <laughs> I got recipes for them. <laughs> Big Snow Resorts, your destination for winter family fun in the north. Enjoy two resorts on one ticket. With over 400 skiable acres, it's the largest ski experience in the Midwest. Full service resorts offering pro shop service, hotel, chalet, and trailside condo lodging, six dining facilities, four bars, and with weekly special events, exceptional fun for everyone. For details, please call or visit BigSnowResorts.com today. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McQuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilar, the most trusted name in sonar. 
Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexlar technology, and Vexlar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexlar.com. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. North Fondy, get in North Fondy out here at state tournament. Turn this way, right no, there's the camera. Flag. We got everybody watching flag. Your coach is standing right there. Hey, we're at we're Pulaski High here. What grade are you in? Uh, junior. Junior? What grade are you in? Junior. Two juniors. Hey, two guys on this team, Pulaski. Come on, people, you want to get on a fishing team. These guys need some guys. Look at this. These are, you guys know how to catch fish, right? Oh, yeah. Mound. First walleye, right here. What is it? 17, 19, what is it? 18, 18 and, a half. and a half. You sure it's a half, not yeah. five A's? I'm pretty sure. All right, we'll give you a half. Nice job, guys. And what else you got? How big is this one? 28. 20, oh, that's pretty good. Crappie, how big? 11 inches. Nice, dripping all over that girl's back with that crappie. <laughs> <laughs> What do you got, dude? Let me see that thing. Big old large one. Holy cow, that's a dandy. That is a dandy. I would bet, what do you say, 18 and a half? I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, look at the gut on that thing. Yeah, yeah. You're, gonna, you're gonna put some points on the board. <laughs> yeah, I heard the coach holler, that a boy down there with you, it was a bass. Is that your first one? First nope. bass out of the team? Um, today it is. For today, that's a no, first keeper. First keeper, first, first okay. Keeper nice job. All right, here we are, Catamaran. What are you guys, Fantastics or what is it? Fanatics. Fanatics. How are you guys doing today? Good. Okay. Having fun? What's that? You're just this a walleye. What size is that? Did you measure? 18 and a half. 18 and a half? Yeah. That's the biggest walleye we've seen today. What'd you catch it on? Tip up. Okay, cool. What'd you guys say crappies on? Crappies are on some uh, wax worms. Wax today. worms? Yeah, little spikes. Hold that big perch up. Look at the size of that thing. Holy what is that thing? Crap. 11, 12? Almost 14. Almost 14? That's a dandy. All right, what do we got here? Waterford? Waterford, Waterford High, School. High School. Racine County. Is that what you throw at me before? Racine oh, yeah. County. Racine County. All right, what the challenge is today? What do you got, herring? Yeah. They're going to bite these herrings off. What could happen is when, the more they bite off, the more members are going to sign up for your team, right? So the more you eat, the more members are going to join. Let's go. Who's going to start? Everybody at once. Ready? One. Two, three, go, dig in. Come on, ooh, that was nice and juicy. It's on your chin. Hey, you can't spit it out. Morning. Morning. My name is Steve Schaefer, what's yours? Mine's Josh Loney, I'm the local warden uh, here in the eastern half of Barron County. And I heard that you're out here watching over the lake, making sure all the boys and our girls are safe out here for the high school yeah. tournament? Yeah, we have a couple of spots on the lake that we uh, gotta be careful, we got moving water obviously yes. as the floorage. But uh, yeah, just kinda out enjoying the weather and then enjoying everybody, seeing everybody catch fish. Is everybody following the rules and stuff? Yes, they are, yeah, I'm, it's a good yeah. group. It's a, it's, a, it's a great thing we have here, I mean, it's a, it's a good group and everyone's following the rules and I, uh, I believe the rules for the fishing tournament are even more restrictive than what we have for oh, yeah. state loss. Oh yeah, yes, and most of it's releasing it. They're taking pictures and releasing yep. them and stuff. Yep. So yeah, I, I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about what's going on and I, they warned us last night at the meeting that you guys be watching us, so follow the rules. And it's <laughs> right, right. Yep. Make sure everyone, make sure everyone's following the rules, and make sure everyone's being safe. That's I'm uh, glad to see you're out here. Seriously, the kids enjoy. You know, they gotta trust you. If they trust you, they trust everything. You know. So. Right. Good deal. Thanks for doing your work. Hey, we you. really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks. 
Hey, I'll tell you what, since I lost the bet with Shotgun Shaver this week, I'm in the kitchen cooking, and I called a good backup, the guy that I know can take care of the job, my good friend Jeff Jasinski. Hey, Jeff, it looks to me like, guess what? He's got rattle real walleye fillets on this plate, and so you're going to be doing some cooking, helping me do some cooking, Absolutely, I should say, huh? Larry. Hey, well, let's put this together and see what you got there. Tell us about this recipe. Well, truthfully, Larry, I've had your cooking, so that's why I'm here cooking. <laughs> But you're right, I got these walleyes a couple weeks ago up in Red Lake, Minnesota, and we caught them on rattle reels. So I could tell by the fillets. What I'm going to show you today is a pretty simple recipe, and, and actually it's a gluten-free recipe for anybody who's not interested in having wheat with their fish. So, awesome. So it's going to be a real simple recipe. I'm going to walk through. It's, it's, uh, it's fish, it's mayonnaise, it's a little seasoning, it's, and it's some um, potato chips crushed up and in the oven. So I'll just walk through it and show you. What it's all about. Sounds like an easy recipe and I like things easy. Sounds good. Well here we go. So put a little pan, put a little spray in the pan there so they don't stick. Okay. Take your walleyes and lay them right in the pan next to each other. We actually got quite a bit of fish here Larry so we're gonna eat right. good today. Well that's awesome. You know the <laughs> difference is about you and Shotgun Schaefer? Shotgun Schaefer always goes down to the boat landings and is always begging for walleye fillets <laughs> from everybody because he said he's got no time to fish. I just, it's the way he's not a very good fisherman, that's what I say. And I know you're an outstanding fisherman, Jeffrey. Well, well thank you. But here, what I also got is a couple bonus perch in here, too. Ooh, I love so, the perch. Nothing wrong with that. No, it sounds so, good. So, real quick here, we're, we're laying the perch, we're laying, excuse me, laying the fish out. Okay. And we're putting a little, little mayonnaise. Little mayonnaise, yep. Okay. Hanman's mayonnaise. So you're just basically spreading that mayonnaise yep. along them fillets like that. Yep, huh? yep. Just kind of give it, uh, it really gives a nice flavor to the fish. I'm going to start with a little bit of paprika. Okay. And, papri and what is that actually doing? Is that giving it a taste or is it more of a visual? It's a color. It's paprika's, a color, huh? Paprika's yeah. for color. That's yep. always what it's for. And then what we have is a little bit of seasoned salt. Obviously, oh, that's always, for flavor. Yep. Can't go wrong with that. That puts a little flavor on the fish. Yep. And then we're going to put a little pepper on here. I'm That'll a pepper friend. Put a little bit more sure. pepper on there. That's yep. always good. Can't a lot put of pepper. enough of that on mine. This is really good. And uh, the last part of the recipe is just chips. Come any on. kind of chips. Seriously? Any kind of chips. I mean. Now, what do the chips do? Putting the salt into it? Put, giving it a little crunch? Just What's a little crunch. Okay. And obviously, a little bit more flavor. I've never put chips on there. And, you know, all. instead of, you know, instead of deep frying fish and right. putting that, you know, batter coating on, you just use some chips like this. And uh, it's phenomenal. Very interesting. You'll see. You'll see. We had this last Friday for supper, and it was a hit. And we've done it a couple times now, and and it looks you know, good. I mean, it's, th this is this is as simple as the recipe is, and the mayonnaise is really what adds a lot of flavor. To right. It. You know, I was just thinking. I'll guarantee you that when Shotgun Schaefer sees this, oh, I had that recipe. I was going to do it. <laughs> I was going to do it next week. I know the way this guy is. Right. Yeah. So, all right. So now That's we're it. we got it all ready. Looks great. So we're ready to put it in the oven, huh? Three fifty for fifteen to twenty minutes. Wow. That's that sounds it. good. All right. Here we go. All hey, right, man. I'll tell you what, Jeff, it's certainly smelling good. Oh, boy, it's looking good, Larry. Woo! It's looking pretty good. Look at that. Nice color to it. A little crispy. I'm glad you got two pans of that. <laughs> We're going to eat good tonight. That's for sure. Perfectly cooked walleye. Rattle reel walleye, Jeff. Rattle reel walleye. In fact, we should probably call this the rattle reel recipe. I, I like that. <laughs> and again, you know what? Schaefer, don't even think about it. We're one step ahead of you for once. <laughs> All right, Larry, you are going to be the you're going to be the taste test the person. The taste tester. I'm not going to argue about that. So you one got bit. you got fish. And you got a little coleslaw got a little here too. Coleslaw, there. Look at that. Coleslaw, coleslaw in honor of uh, St. Patrick's Day coming yep. up. A got fork. a fork. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good stuff. Jeff, very good. Much better than what Chuck and Schaefer would have cooked. But hey, you know what? Good job. I'll tell you what, Jeff. You know what? I think I'm going to try a little, try cooking some of this walleye myself. You got a couple extra I got, pieces? I got some okay, extra let fish. Okay, let me give it a shot myself, see if I can get this recipe down. You know, remember, this bit. is gluten free, Larry, so mm. it'll, it'll help you lose weight. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I need that problem yet. <laughs> but who knows? What are you looking at, anyways? Back to the ice. Let's see how the boys are doing up at Rice Lake for the championship.
Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. Got him. Watch this. You got him. Don't break him. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Get out of the way, guys. Get out of the way. Oh, there it is. Ooh, nice fish. Nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, nice. I told you guys were good luck. There we go. Thanks. Perfect. Was it on a shiner? Yeah. And look at that, guys. Even better. Show, turn this one. Look at this, guys. On a beaver dam tip up. You gotta love that. Stand by! Oh. Tip up with a shiner. Tip up with a shiner? What time did you catch that? Just before 8. Just before 8. Just before 8 o'clock. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. And look at this northern pike. Burlington took over the number one spot with 194.21. Burlington took over number one. Give him a hand. Did you catch this fish? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. How big is that? Uh, 35 inches. 35 inch northern. What'd you catch it on? Uh, sucker minnow. Got it on a sucker minnow. I'm going to guess on a tip up, correct? Yep. Told you I was going to have a sun drop, Larry. We got a new leader, Colfax. Give him a hand. Give me your name, how big that is, how you caught it, and where were you? Um, my name's Alexis. I'm 35 inches, 11 and a half pounds, caught on red cedar. On a tip up with a seven inch shiner. Seven inch shiner, use big bait for big fish, right? <laughs> the dinosaur, get that out of the bucket. Who caught it? I did. Oh, oh that is a dandy. What can you tell me about your date and that fish? 
Um, we caught this in 35 feet of water right out here on Red Cedar on a little tungsten. I was I was on the chair falling asleep and I saw a big red mark and followed it up, got it. Bam! What can you tell me? Um, well, they were all convinced I was catching a lot of fish because I taught them videos to do a dance. Can you demonstrate the dance? Yes! We're going to see the little dance right here. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Coach, what can you tell me? I know that Will caught more inches in fish than he is tall today. <laughs> Will, Will. Ah, nice job, Will, with the dance. Give him a hand, new leader, Nina number two. I do not know what your secret is, Mr. Stankowski. Good! But I think we should probably put on a clinic. A, a, a clinic for everyone else. Tell, tell, tell us your secrets. He's coming down here. Oh, it's going to be mum's the word, I'm going to guess, so I don't know. Uh, it's the, it's called having a great group of kids that have amazing dads and then parents that are supportive of them. Um, we spread out all over the lakes yesterday and they fish hard. They fished hard all day yesterday and today. And, and I think another key thing is their communication with each other. They just, they're talking back and forth. We got a Facebook messenger thing and I bet you between yesterday and today, 500 messages between us. Hey, give him a hand. Rapids go up. State champion. Hey, Jeff, we pretty much polished up on them two pans, and I'll tell you what, it's a good thing that I started cooking some on my own. You know, I know. what? I can't wait to try yours, yep. Larry. I, did, I, I changed the recipe just a little bit. Let's All go right. check it out. All right, sounds good. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 there's a fire! Well, all right, shut it off, shut it off. Let's not burn their house down for crying out loud. Is it? Is the fire out? No. Oh my God. We gotta get that out of there. You gotta get that out of there. You got Ready? Let's grab it. Yeah, just don't be crazy about it. Just grab it gently, you'll be fine. You know what? Definitely Shotgun Schaefer needs to come back into the kitchen. I'm gonna go back out on the lake. It's a lot quieter out there. 